The Aqua Kids climbed aboard with the Fish and Wildlife Service to search for some carp. Dealing with fish can be a wet job, so they supplied us with everything from boots to a rain jacket and even rain pants. We quickly cruised out to the nets that Rob had set up earlier that morning in hopes that we would find some fish. We're here at our first sampling site. So we've got nets set along the shore here. We need to get our boat set up a little bit before we get started though. How much are you gonna put in there? Uh, about that much. That much? <laughs> we'll see, if we need to add some more, if we get a lot of fish, we will, but that'll okay. get us started. All right. Okay, so we've got our super fancy laundry baskets. <laughs> and the only thing we need to, we'll have uh, floats and weights on the end of the net. So once we start pulling it in, there's clips on them. We just unclip them, and then we just start piling the net into the, the basket here. All right. All right, so how's this gonna be set up? What are we gonna be doing? Well, you guys are gonna be doing the heavy pulling here. So you'll hand the, the float back to me, and we'll get the float and anchor off, and then you guys just start pulling that net in. So what kind of fish do you think we're gonna catch? Well, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we had some, some big head carp, silver carp, common carp. Uh, you can see a lot of carp words coming in here. So a lot of carp. <laughs> a lot of carp. You know, hopefully we'll get some other native fish though. Hopefully we'll get maybe some freshwater drum or maybe some buffalo. Buffalo? Yeah, buffalo. Uh, not the kind you'll find out on the range. <laughs> they actually look somewhat similar to carp. Uh, we've yeah. got at least three different species of buffalo in the river here. Okay. So we'll, we'll see what we find. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you're just gonna get low and just reach over and grab that buoy, right. and it's on a rope that's, you know, we got probably 20 feet of line there. Oh, dang. So you just holler back to the driver if you need him to go back, go forward. Oh, got it. We got it. We got it. Got her? Okay, we'll just go ahead and start pulling that line in. We'll get that out of our way first. Okay, and we've got the heavy end coming up here. We've got yeah. a float line, the black line, that floats the net up in the water. And then we've got a heavy line or a lead line on the bottom end that Let's your net stay up and down in the water. Oh. You got her? All right, well, we got two. Oh, look. Awesome. Oh, they're huge. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here's where the work Look at these guys. Go. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God, he's huge. Yeah, what we kind got of fish some big is this? ones here. Looks like we've got a big head carp to start us off, and a, okay. a common carp is the second one we got oh, wow. coming in. Ooh. Yep. Ideally, we've got our net hooks with us, but I'd left them in another vehicle. So we're just gonna work that fish through the net here. Yep, you're right. We've got the, the keel on this one, that line along the bottom goes all the way through. On a big head, it would be about, you can show them there, Jeff. It's here on big head. Yep. So it's kind of hard to tell just by looking at them because the colors can be different on a on the fish, no matter which species it is, so that that uh, keel along the bottom is a real way we're gonna tell the difference between the two. Common carp's a little more lively yeah. here. <laughs> and we've got a, a, a couple of spines on them to worry about, just right oh, okay. at the, at the, the front spines. part of their fin. Yep. So the, the spine is pretty thick, it's solid, but it's, it's not real sharp at the point. But if you feel the backside, oh, it's wow. serrated on there. And you see that. So if it, if it runs into you, it, it's designed to stick into you. Yeah, Ouch. That's a, the so purpose we, of it then is for protection. Protection. It's yeah. got to hurt. So we just, you know, got to be a little bit careful of them. Just be mindful that they're there. Yeah. yeah. You got this pulled right aboard? Yeah, go ahead. Just be real careful. The yeah, ends of that anchor are kind of sharp. Yeah, I'll give you a hand with that if you need. It's a little bit overkill for as slow as the water is here, but when you get out in that faster water, if you don't have a solid anchor, that net's just gonna float right away on there, get drugged right away by the current. Right. So what do you normally do with the fish that you catch in the nets? Well, we typically are gonna collect some data on those fish, and it really depends on what project we're doing as to what data we're collecting. We're at least counting what species we collect and how many we collect. Okay, so we're coming up on our next net here, and you saw how Jeff kind of circled us around. We'll come in from the downstream end to let the current kind of hold us in position. Let's go. Okay, hold on just a sec here. We'll get this basket going again. Oh, right here. I ought to put yep. those in the basket. Switch jobs. There we go. Turn it up. Yep. 
Might be a good idea. We'll let, we try to keep a little tension on the net, but if we get too much on there, just holler Whoa. at Jeff. And we'll, there he is. There we go. Wow. <laughs> I saw that guy go in. <laughs> oh, man. Easy. Pull him out. He's still very much alive. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What is this? Nah, That's definitely big. a carp, isn't it? Easy, Weird looking easy, eyes. Easy, big boy. Okay, definitely an Asian carp. Oh, hold still, big boy. And on that last Asian carp that we had in the boat, you saw that the keel ran all the way up. Mm -hmm. And this one, the keel stops right here. So that's our best distinguishing characteristic. So you've got a pretty good sized big head carp here. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not sure if we'll be able to work this one through the net quite as easy as the others. Have you kind of found the locations that have the most fish? Well, actually, a lot of what our office does is work up in the Great Lakes area, up in the Upper Illinois River, where there's not a lot of fish. Okay. So more often than not, when we're putting gear in the water, we're not catching fish. There's other offices that do a lot of fishing in this particular part of the river, and they're very familiar with where the hot spots are. Yeah. <laughs> or if you really want to know where to catch fish, you, the commercial fishermen who spend day after day after day out here. They really know where the hot spots are. So we had a pretty good day here today. A couple of nets, we caught three different species of fish, so we got a little bit of variety. And I've definitely got one big, big head carp. <laughs> yeah. And so we'll wrap up our gear here and we'll move on to our next location. We'll do a little bit of electro fishing and oh, see what we can yeah. catch that way. This is a lot right. of fun, thanks. You bet. Thank you. Coming up, the Aqua Kids do something shocking.